I mean, initially we, we, we did wait nights, but the long term was so. And, and this gentleman found it very difficult, I think, new surroundings. Yeah. He had his own room, there's no one now in the room with him, you know. And he, he sussed there was other people outside. It's uh, so he, isn't it, really? So we yeah. kind of just get, get him really to acclimatise yeah. to that. And, he, and, and initially he found it a struggle. And also, I think one of the big things as well as, and this is from my experience of seeing people in hospitals, yeah. the old hospitals, they, they, they were big spaces. Mm. The wards were, what well, the wards, the, the rooms yeah. Yeah, were big, there were more people. The grounds were extensive, they were all enclosed. So it, in a way, there was some sort of safe environment yeah. and people could just come out wonder, the, the wander, yeah. just go and... Whereas in the house, the door wasn't locked, yeah. but the, you know this gentleman just couldn't wander out on his own. Yeah. He'd have to be accompanied because obviously there was traffic, yeah. people, yeah. neighbours, and and we also had to sort of um, get people involved from the neighbourhood really because obviously this re people had this fear okay. of residential homes and you know the, you know people moving out of hospitals. They're gonna cause mayhem in the local, but that yeah. wasn't the case. So it, it took time really as well to develop relationships with neighbours and the local community and the shops and get people, you know, recognised. Yeah. 